Oh, look who it is. You got the hook book? What's that? Is that the hook box? That's the hook box. In the hook book? Well, special string, man. Oh, That's oh. straight string right there. Easy there. Easy. Well, hey, we'll be back in a second. We just got to go pick something up. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Jason's like looking at us like, y'all are unbelievable. <laughs> y'all are, y'all are just out of control. All right, we're riding to go pick up a special gift here. Okay, Chris has figured out how to play YouTube on the dash or on the infotainment center of the truck. Nerd. <laughs> Look at that, he's drinking water for people. Sheepdog out here drinking water. Staying hydrated. Oh, it's all that storm work getting you, getting you tired, huh? Yup. Hey, John. Yes. Did you tell people how they can get one of these? Oh yeah, you can get one of those if you send me an email. Well, I, you gotta work for me then, but you gotta send me an email at uh, in the description below. If you're interested in storm work, but you gotta have an eight lug truck. And if you have some common sense and like money, you definitely should send me an email. All right guys, we are back. Just picked up a little secret. I don't know if I'm, should I tell them about the secret we just picked up today or no? Yeah. Can I make them wait? You should make them wait. We'll do that when we talk about what's going on with the Grand National. I don't know. Well, which we'll, Grand National? We'll make them wait, we'll make them wait, so. Not tomorrow's video, because tomorrow's video is going to be the Bad Apple at the track, but the following video we're back talking about the Grand National and the Hemi. But today, we got Brazzle here, Jason Brazzle, BPF. Hey, um, what's up? We know we're in good hands and we're gonna hook because as you guys saw earlier, he did not only bring the hook book, but he brought the hook box and the hook bag. So we are, we are set. And what we got going on here is he's kind of going over everything on the rear end and setting up the proper bar angles. You've heard me talk about it before with the anti-squat value and the instant center. And I don't really know what I'm talking about. He does, and he knows. I do. I do. People think I know a lot, but I really don't. <laughs> so he is doing all this stuff, getting it set up. So the car has the best opportunity to hook and we're able to apply more power and go faster in the 60 foot and then net a better ET. So it all works together. You go faster down low, you go faster up top and you can do it making less power. Uh, this car, we haven't been messing with the power overall. We've only been running 22 to 24 pounds of boost total and we've been able to achieve a 491 at 144. Uh, we went four, we went like 5.0 at 146 with me in there. Chris has been 491 at 144, very, very smooth, 118, 117, 60 bucks. Uh, we go back here to Jason. What are you doing here? Is this top secret stuff? No, just checking. Make sure it's neutral right now and uh, I'm gonna check it out, see if it's got any rear steering in it. Um, since it's pushing to the We did have that little flick on the start line. As soon as you you'd let go of the button, it kind of like flicked the ass in. Wait, where did we leave off at? Is in here. What, what, was, what did I say last? I completely forgot. You were talking about four links and setting up the <laughs> angles. And you sound like a car salesman over there, honestly. I'm wow. Using wow. a bunch of key terms. So we got all these holes in the rear end brackets and you guys can't see, well you can see a little bit right there. We got some brackets here and by putting those in different spots, we're gonna change the values and the bar length and all that. And you, you have the magic potion. So, you know what works. We're going to see tomorrow, I guess. Oh, wow. So, tomorrow we're testing that Galat. They're doing Pro Mod testing, so not standard drag radial prep. I'd say the prep's going to be a little bit softer, um, but I think we will be able to make it work. We've only been leaving really on 12 pounds. And we'll loosen it up a little bit and uh, see how it goes. So, it's like it all works together with, with your anti squat and your shocks and everything like that. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of bite in it, so we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Should be a good show. Is everything like it, 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 the Brazzle, the BPF thumbs up? It works? It's, it's getting close. It's still got a little more fine tune. You made some changes when you first got here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a few here and there. So we went from super aggressive to the bar angles, and then I knew it was it had way too much anti squad in it, so Ben and I took some out, and you were saying we might have taken too much out? Uh, yeah, just taking a little too much out. So now we're just going to try to find that middle point. That happy medium. Yeah. So, and what is Wes teaching you? Wes, Wes is, he, he's instructing me, I'm, he's, he's teaching me how to do this stuff. Every time I miss something, he slaps me with a water bottle or something. Hit him with the beer bottle. The beer bottle. <laughs> he's saying, yeah, I broke it over the corner. <laughs> he's, he's run out of water bottles, so now he's with the beer. <laughs> well, it looks, uh, it looks pretty good here. Definitely, uh, definitely feel good having the good, well, like, the Grand National, that thing drives straight, you know, you had your hands on that and that thing works, so. 
That's why we test, right? That's definitely why we test. Is it low enough for you, though, is the question. Uh, you know, I like the token, but <laughs> we'll work with it. And this is what happens when we're doing storm work. Ben's got this thing over at the shop because he need to put a light bar on it because it's got a headlight out. This thing is slightly large. Hey, give me a rev. <laughs> Brings back memories, huh? Right, getting the bad apple back on the ground. We did have some discoveries. I talked to you about well, rear, rear steer issue, right? I said it had a kind of a little weird flick, and you measured it, and it, it was not correct. It was. Yeah, it was uh, a little bit of rear steer. Uh, it's actually, it's pushing the leggings off the bottom, so we took that back out, and uh, everything's pretty much neutral right now. Get a baseline tomorrow and make adjustments from there. Is that kind of how you set them up? You set everything up. Yeah. Neutral, see how the car drives. Other than that, I'm gonna make some some adjustments to the shocks in the back and a few things in the front, maybe tighten up on the travel a little bit. I think we'll be ready to go for the track. So. This is uh the I guess the time consuming part, but it's pretty important. Like if you if you don't do this right. Yeah, that's one thing once you get it done most of the time, it's just a matter of just shock adjustment after that or so do it right the first time. Don't go to the track a million times. Exactly right. So, well, that's why we have you here. Four hours, five hours. Now, so. Look at this. You guys can contact him, and he can set up your cars for you. Yes. You have a guarantee to. You got like a warranty to to make it hook. You know, like this. Yes. Where we're at. We're, <laughs> we're looking at. So, I, I so we we were going 118, 117 to the 60 foot. I feel like a car like this could go a little bit quicker. Yeah, Obviously, like, we're getting picky. I like to see. Yeah. So we'll see. I mean, if we can get the plant right and not too violent, not too soft, then you know, we can start applying a little more power on the front half and see how it goes. I like that. I think we can get it to go, you know, a number or two quicker without putting more power up top and just really hammering that 60 foot. Yeah, if we can get up to the 60 foot a little, a little faster. Then well, I'm excited. So you guys better check in tomorrow because we're going to be pouring the coals to this thing early on in the run, seeing if we can get to hook up. And hopefully it keeps all four tires down, no wheelies, no nothing crazy like that. And uh, the car drives straight. So everything we're doing now, we're trying to improve on how the car drives to allow us to apply more power, especially at the start line. All right, guys, wrapping up here, just getting all finished up. Um, Change some things around the car the way. Uh, that some of the vacuum lines and everything are run. We're going to try to promote uh, faster spooling. Not that it was an issue, but spooling faster is definitely not uh, a problem that we would uh, that we would mind. If it spooled too fast, I'd prefer that problem than too slow. Uh, so we're going to try some things, really go out there tomorrow and test and see how the car does. Uh, and then we are going up to TKM. Um, their link will be in the description below. Check them out. They're doing a dyno day the afternoon from like 5 throughout the evening. Uh, so go check it out. Hang out with the guys at TKM. If you're in the area, it's Denton, North Carolina. Come on. If you're an hour away, come on. We're about an hour and a half away, and we're going to make the trip up after we get done um, testing the car. So they're going to have cars on the dyno. You can check out the shop. You can check out the 5-3 block that they, I think they got finished up, just the short block itself. Or sorry, just the bare block. Um, so go if you're in the area, let's go up there check it out. Um, the guys from TKM are absolutely killer So um, that information will be down in the description below you can check that out got some new LS nasty merch coming out super excited to take this car to the track tomorrow Super busy crazy week with the storm all the shirts shipping out uh, some orders might be delayed in getting them to you guys via the storm uh, I did, did send them out a day later than I wanted to but uh, the storm is passed now everything should be good So you guys should be seeing your shirt your shirts God, I'm tired. It's like midnight right now. You guys should be seeing your shirts uh, midweek next week, um, late into the week uh, at the latest. So Thursday, Friday, everyone should have their shirts by then. Huge um, support with doing the giveaway, and I appreciate that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like always, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, I appreciate everyone checking it out and supporting and allowing us to do what we love. So uh, we'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload. Don't miss it. We're testing the bad apple at the track. 
and then going to TKM for their dino day, which is gonna be a blast. So we'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload. <laughs>